pre-order The Consultant Next Door today with the link below. The mind is the most powerful tool in your arsenal. I created this podcast as a daily supplement for you to invest into your thinking. This is your daily daily mind medicine. Yo, friends, welcome to uh, another Mind Medicine podcast. Hey, by the way, if you're enjoying this, if this is helpful for you, and um, if you care about humans, if you care about if you care about human lives, uh, I have a request. We're not monetizing this show. We're I mean, we wanted this to be an investment into people because the way you think, obviously, you know, determines your resiliency and your perseverance. So, anyways, we're not monetizing this. This is not a a money play for us. But if you're if you're getting value from this at all, please, please, please do two things. This is the way that you can pay for this. It's not money. I don't want your money. I want you to share it and I want you to review this show because you know I'm I'm going here every single day putting content together for you. And I just get messages from people all over the world who are like, man, this this show, this one episode changed my thinking. This helped me with my family. This helped me with this and that. And it's it's I want people to grasp the value of what's going on here. So you're never going to have to pay for this I promise. We're never going to make it a for money thing, but if you haven't already do me a solid, do me a favor, do the world a favor and go review this podcast on iTunes or wherever you get the podcast and share it with a friend. All right. Uh, I was thinking this morning about leadership. Okay. And just the process of developing your own resiliency as, as a leader. If you're listening to this, no doubt about it, you are a leader. Whether you have people directly reporting to you or whether you have people following what you say or you know, whether you're at the beginning of your journey and you're developing your voice and developing what you stand for. And I had this idea, this framework of leaders really, really have three things going for them. And the definition of true leadership, especially in trying times, I think these three things are really important as a framework. And I was teaching some people on our team about this. Number one, leaders are strong. You got to be strong. Can you handle weight? And I'm seeing this over and over across the world right now where people that you thought were leaders, they can't handle weight. Their shoulders cannot handle weight. I don't mean physical weight. I mean emotional weight. There's this person that I love and uh, she's a wonderful thinker. She's got a, a couple fantastic businesses and as everything started and I watch everybody I see everyone and I pay attention to everyone as things started to go down a month and a half ago is she started really strengthening her voice and she started posting things that were enlightening to people and helpful to people and you can see that there's a person who can handle weight there's a leader who can handle weight you can throw weight on her shoulders you know, you can throw right on Chris's shoulders. He can handle the weight. Leaders have to be divine, defined by their strength, number one. Number two, leaders are agile. Agile, you got to have adaptability. Are you going to be the, the tree who can sway in the wind? Or are you going to be the tree that can snap in half? And this is a dichotomy here because strength and agility oftentimes don't go together. But the greatest athletes in the world, they have the agility and they also have the tensile strength. It's both and can you be adaptable? Can you pivot quickly? Here's a question to ask yourself. Can you see things from another point of view? Can you see something from another person's point of view? This is the definition of agility. When you have the ability to see it from your point of view and someone else's point of view and a third point of view, and you can hold conflicting narratives in your head at the same time. Number one, leaders are strong. Number two, leaders are agile. Number three, here it is. Leaders are mobile. They are moving. They are moving, they are moving, they are moving, they are pushing, they are growing forward, they are moving. It is impossible for you to be a leader who is filled with strength, a leader who is agile, and a leader who is a sitting duck. Oh, that doesn't work. Leaders are mobile. They are constantly helping guide their tribe forward. They are constantly navigating forward themselves. There's really no such thing as holding in one pattern. There's no such thing because the problem with staying the same is time. As time advances, you actually are losing resources if you are simply staying put. You are losing resources if you are just holding the line. You got to have the ability to navigate 
forward in your life, in your business, in your relationships. Don't stay stuck in one place for too long. It's perfectly fine for you to sit in a holding pattern for two, three days or a week or, or three weeks to figure something out. But my friends, leadership is about pushing forward, always pushing forward, doing it in a smart way. Number one, leaders are strong. Number two, leaders are agile. Number three, leaders are mobile. Are mobile. If you master these three personality traits, these three traits in business, these three traits in life, you will look up every six months, every eight months, and you'll be like, man, I'm, I am further ahead today than I was yesterday. And that is a good thing. Adios. Let's rock and roll. DailyMindMedicine.com Pre-order The Consultant Next Door today with a link below.